her, I shall not be moved just like a tree planted by the water. I shall not be moved. Yes, I ask you to help me not to be moved. So this time the whole temple is by our announcement. And our announcement be done by the first thing of the church. Mother Evangelist, let's all greet her with a hearty amen. Amen. Amen and praise the Lord. Amen to Holy Temple and to our Facebook audience. And I would like to say happy Father's Day. Amen to all of the precious fathers. Amen in Jesus' name. Amen. Our announcement for as follows this morning on June 20th, uh, at our noonday prayer. Amen. We're yet being here. Amen. For fasting and praying for peace, for backsliders. Amen. For the ones that carry for the Holy Ghost, for families, for the ones that's on illicit drugs. Amen. Hallelujah. For backsliders. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, if you have uh, financial uh, problems. Amen. And we are praying. Amen. For you in Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord will just break through. Amen. And give us deliverance. Amen. We're praying for salvation for all the ones who want to. Uh, seek and carry for the Holy Ghost, amen, in Jesus' name, amen. And his daughter for next Tuesday, uh, this Tuesday, yes, Tuesday will be yours truly, amen, hallelujah. And on the 23rd, amen, hallelujah, this morning, our missionary uh, meeting, amen, and yours truly will be that speaker for on that Friday, amen. And then June 21st, amen, it's our Bible study meeting, amen, and that ID is uh, 613-459-8540, amen. And the passcode is the number one, capital P, small T, small A, capital V, and capital W, amen. And that would be the same passcode, amen, for our Friday night services, amen. Hallelujah, glory to God, amen. Uh, again, happy Father's Day, amen, hallelujah. And, and a shout out for our, it's my, daughter's birthday in the month of June, amen, my son, my daughter's the 22nd, my son Evan is the 30th, amen, and then my <coughs> next daughter, her is the 2nd of July, amen, because it's just weeks after one another, amen, so we thank and praise God for all the fathers, amen, a father's love, honor, nourish, and cherish his wife and children in every aspect of life. The father, as the head of the household, has the obligation imposed upon him as bringing up his children in the fear of God, making them well acquainted with the precepts and of the law. Amen. Generally acting as their instructor and guide. The position and authority of the father as the head of a family is expressly assumed and sanctioned in the scriptures as a likeness to that of the Almighty over his creation. Amen. Happy Father's Day once again to all the fathers. Amen. And the Holy Temple values this morning is yet to reverence the house of God, respect to each other, the friendliness, amen, supportive of the ministry, and to be faithful in stewardship. Amen. Hallelujah. And on our online giving, you can do it. Uh, by giving to Giblify, Holy Temple, amen, of our Lord Jesus Christ, 519 South Pearl Street, or you can do it by cash app, dollar sign, Holy Temple, 519. So just to judge yourself accordingly to all our announcements in Jesus' name, amen. And while I'm standing here, I, I'll do a song, amen. I, um, nothing heaven dropped in my heart, amen morning, amen, but I thank and praise God, amen, because he told us, yes, you know, just to make a joyful noise unto the Lord, amen, so you all pray for me in Jesus' name. I'm gonna do what the Lord said do, I'm gonna do what the Lord said do.
back into the hands of Elohim out into this morning. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Yes, I agree 100% with Brother Jenkins. Everything belongs to him. I want to do the best that I can be for the Lord. And like Paul told the church of Philippi, Philippians 3 and 8, I want to suffer all the loss of all things, account of a dog, that I may win. So this is really, this is a part of our service. We can get that spiritual food that we need, do all we can do to please God. And it's going to be given to us and fed to us from our pastor, <laughs> Bishop, William, just let's all greet him with the hearty amen. 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 Is God satisfied with me? Say again, is God satisfied with me? It's a serious question in my soul today. Yeah. Yeah. Is God satisfied with me? Again, is God satisfied with me? Is God satisfied with me? It's a serious question in my soul today. Yeah. Is God with the way I live, Lord, is he satisfied with the way I live? It's a serious question in my soul today. Is God satisfied with me? Singing, is God satisfied with me? Is God satisfied with me? It's a serious question in my soul today. Is God satisfied with me? Is he satisfied with the way I pray? Oh Lord, is he satisfied with the way I pray? It's a serious question in my soul today. And is God satisfied with me? Amen. That's the question. Amen. That is asked every day. Amen. Through the trials and tribulations and even persecution, is God satisfied with me? And each of us, when I ask, can answer that question. Amen. God is He satisfied that. with all that I do, that, I do. that His name may be glorified, Thank and that my soul may be prepared to hear Him say in that day, "Well done." A good and faithful servant. So again, we honor those, amen, that were able to press their way on, amen, on this day, Father's Day, amen, to worship the Lord Jesus Christ, to give him the glory, to praise and magnify his holy name. Amen. Even our assistant pastor, pray for Lord, and uh, our sumptuous mother Evangeline Jenkins, amen, who wears more than one hat. So we thank God. Even those that are screening on uh, Facebook today, we bless the Lord and we thank him for your presence. Amen? amen. And after this is Father's Jesus. Day, amen. Many, I, I, I looked online today and someone has shared with me this about Father. Says that a Father, F is giving, the A is for advisor, the T is for teacher, the H is for helper, helper. although he had hero, I put helper, and E for uh, encourager, and the R is for reliable. You can depend on your Father, which is in heaven. We may not be able to depend on all the fathers earthly, but we can sure depend on our Father, which is in heaven. Amen? So we are thankful for this day that it was set aside. Amen? That we recognize, amen, the responsibility and obligation that the Father has. Amen? In the family, as well as in the community, and in the church. Amen? Amen. So again, we thank God for your presence. We endeavor to do wrong that the Lord may have his way, amen, in our lives today. Yes, it is getting hot in the hundreds to three digits, but yet that shall not stop us from praising our God. Amen. amen. So our scripture today is coming from 1 Peter, the third chapter, verse 8 through 12. Verse 8 through 12, 1 Peter. When you're there, Ella Williams, 
to say amen. Amen. Finally, be ye all of one mind, having compassion one of another. Love as brethren, be pitiful, be courteous. Not rendering evil for evil, or rarely for rarely. But contrary wise, blessing, knowing that ye are there unto called it, that ye should inherit a blessing. But he that will love life and see good days, let him refrain his tongue from evil, <coughs> that they speak no doubt. Let him choose evil and do good. Let him seek peace. The eyes of the Lord are over the righteous, and his ears are open unto their prayer, but the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. Amen. We thank God for the reading of his word. Amen. The word, amen, is food to our soul. And it's not only on this day, Sunday, amen, that we hear or read the word of God. Amen. We read, in fact, we should study the word every day. Amen. That scripture charges us to study to show ourselves. Approved that the God works with that he not to be ashamed. Right is about in the word of truth. And you won't know that it's true until you enter into the word of God. Fasting and praying and meditating on the word that you may be able to rightly divide God's word. Amen. So as he said in his word, that heaven and earth will pass away before one jot or one tilt of his word shall fail. Whatever God says, it will indeed come to pass. Amen. I'm going to use for a thought on this morning, uh, check yourself. Does your conduct and attitude reflect holiness? Mm. Check yourself. Does your attitude reflect holiness? Mm -hmm. In Philippians, the first chapter, verse 27 to 28, said, only let your conversation be as becoming the gospel of Christ, that whether I come and see you or else be absent, I may hear of your affairs, that you stand fast in one spirit, with one mind, striving together for the faith of the gospel, and in nothing terrified by your adversary, which is to them an evidence, token of prediction, but to you of salvation and that of God. Amen? Amen. Uh, looking today to share uh, just a few points. Examine your faith in checking yourself. Uh -huh. Examine your works. Mm -hmm. And of course, examine yourself through the perspective of the word of God. Yes. Amen. That's what we are and should do. Examine your faith. As faith is the substance of things looked for, the evidence of things not seen. God's word, we are trusting in it. Those things that he promised us, amen, it will come to pass. We must have the patience, amen, to wait on him and to trust him, amen. And the things that we encounter in life, God said he'll put no more upon us than we can bear. So when we are in there, we must trust God, have faith in him that he will not fail us. That he charges, he will not put more upon us than we can bear. We must have faith in God. When the storms are brewing, have faith in God. Yes. Amen. When things seem unsettling, uh, have faith in God. Have faith. Amen. When things doesn't go your way as you perceive them to be, have faith in God. And then we examine our works. Oh. Are they fruitful? Are they good works? Amen. Are they glorifying God? Amen. Are they building up the kingdom of God? Amen. These things we must examine ourselves. Others may say, you're doing a good job, but that's my look. But God knows whether or not that which we have done was done in the right spirit, Amen. done with the right disposition, yes. done with the right attitude. Yes. You can do right and still be wrong. Your works speaks volumes, amen, to you. And the only examination, the only uh, mirror that we have to examine ourselves is the word of God. The only mirror that we have amen. that will truly reflect who we are, who we are. where we are, mm -hmm. 
is the word of God. Hallelujah. We may say I'm able to climb mountain, but when you try to climb that mountain, you might find you don't have the strength or the endurance to climb that mountain. Yes, so what you always say is not always what you can do. Amen. But what the word says, you can do it. All things are possible to them Hallelujah. that believe. Yes, sir. Amen. And so we examine ourselves through the perspective of God's word. Yes. And his word is not going to change. Amen. Amen. As it was in the days of old, our parents and forebears, that same word is available today. The day that you hear my voice. The word said, harden not your heart. Amen. Amen. And, and even 2 Corinthians 13 and 5 says, examine yourselves. Mm -hmm. Whether ye be in the faith, prove your own selves. Yeah, know ye not that your own, your own selves, how that Christ, or Jesus Christ, rather, is in you, except ye be represented. Let me read that again. Examine yourself, whether ye be in the faith. faith. Prove your own selves. Ooh. Know ye not your own selves, how that Jesus Christ is in you, except ye be reprobates. When we examine ourselves, amen, it means to uh, scrutinize. It means to test. It means to examine, amen, yourself. Amen, to see whether or not you are in the faith. Amen. That is whether you, amen, have a genuine relationship with Christ. Amen. And are following, amen, the will of God. That God has revealed unto you. Amen. Examine yourself. It's not meant to cause fear or condemnation, but to help you assess your spiritual condition and align yourself with the word of God. If you, amen, have been bent out of shame through trials and tribulation or persecution, God can strengthen you and strengthen you. Hallelujah. But sometimes we deny that we are weak, praise God. Amen. And refuse to grow and become strong. Let the weak say that I'm strong to God Almighty. In the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. We must do an assessment. Amen. A spiritual assessment day in and day out. Oh, yeah. Must not be done just on Sunday. Amen. When trials come, but you must assess yourself. Where am I now? Have I lifted enough weight spiritually? Oh, yeah. Have I endured enough to strengthen me to hold on to God's unchanging hand? Yeah. Am I following God's will oh, as He would have me to do? Thank you, Lord. Amen. Examine yourself. Amen. It's especially important. If there is any kind of wrong behavior, amen, or inappropriate behavior, amen, in our lives, amen, that tells us that we need to go down on our knees and begin to pray. Examine me, O oh Lord, yeah, O oh Lord, and prove me. Try my reign by my heart. Thank you, Jesus. When you look in the mirror, Amen. And from the natural perspective, uh, amen, you see yourself, uh, obviously, you looking at a reflection, amen, in your mirror. Uh, you put on your garment, praise God. Uh, you iron it for God, and everything looks nice, uh, leasing your eyes. But when you get before the mirror, uh, it will reveal, oh God, uh, if you really look at it. Uh, there's a spot that did not come out. Uh, to God Almighty. Oh. There's a wrinkle that's still there. Hallelujah, Jesus. It will reveal to you amen, the things that you need to do. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, however, you don't know hey, that we shall need, amen, to look in the spiritual mirror, praise God. And that mirror is the Word of God. Examine yes. yourself. Hallelujah, Jesus. Self examination. Yeah, it's a crucial part of our spiritual growth and our spiritual walk. When we look at our spiritual mirror, what do you 
see how it will reveal to you where you're weak at, where you're strong at, where you've made improvements, and where you need improvement. Yes, it will. That word will wake you up. Good God Almighty. To that reality that he's coming back again. And the word declared is coming like a thief in the night. Will you be ready? Will you have a home? The home of God. Will you have endured until your change comes? The God of money. His word will open doors for you. Uh, that you might see uh, what God is carrying you uh, all along. Uh, oh, Lord, uh, we go to mind. Uh, we have the song of David. Uh, make clarity here. Uh, search me, uh, oh God, uh, and know my heart. Good uh, God Almighty, uh, try me, uh, and know my thoughts. Uh, isn't that right? Uh, and see, uh, there be any wickedness uh, or wicked ways uh, in me. Uh, and lead me uh, in the path uh, everlasting. Uh, those words were written uh, many years ago. Uh, but let me assure you, uh, they'll still bound the day. Uh, oh, Lord, uh, good God Almighty. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Uh, when we look for you, God. Uh, yay. Uh, uh, and that word, uh, conduct uh, or behavior, uh, it is, uh, yeah, uh, the way we act, uh, well, uh, in our home, uh, or in the church, uh, or wherever uh, we might go, uh, how do we respond? Uh, the trial and tribulation. Uh, how do we respond? Uh, in, in the persecution. Uh, oh, we let David. Uh, I'm looking uh, through the hills. Uh, for we come in my hell. Uh, all from my hell. Uh, come from the Lord. Uh, we made the heaven uh, and the earth. Uh, church me, Lord. Uh, church me, Lord. I uh, need you. To serve me, good God Almighty. And if you're fine, any wicked ways in me, lead me, Lord, in the way of everlasting and righteousness. Good God Almighty, you're not there yet because you're still pressing. You'll still be in the race. Haven't given up yet. Many me have passed you. Uh, on the road, uh, but you were still in the race. Uh, the race, uh, and I'll give it to the swift, uh, nor the battle uh, to the strong. Uh, isn't that right? Uh, oh, oh Lord, uh, my God, uh, look at him now. Uh, in my behavior uh, and my attitude, uh, right with God. Uh, yeah. Uh, but I'm talking to my wife uh, or talking to my children. Uh, is it right uh, in God's eyes? Uh, hallelujah. Uh, when I say uh, I love you, uh, is it coming uh, from my heart? Uh, but this word being said, uh, do you really uh, mean what you say? Good uh, God Almighty. Uh, oh, Lord. Uh, good God Almighty. Uh, we always uh, look to him uh, who he can dispel uh, that which is inappropriate. Uh, good God Almighty. Uh, you cannot in God uh, live one way uh, and talk another. Uh, you got to live uh, what you talk about uh, and you're talking about Jesus. Uh, oh Lord. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, you should always display uh, the appropriate conduct uh, that reflects holiness. Uh, that reflects uh, you've been born again. Uh, that reflects uh, that the Spirit of God uh, is man abides in you. Uh, isn't that right? Uh, I got it. Uh, I know I got it. Uh, God 
you with me everywhere I go. But it is, look at here now. I'm going to stand up a conduct in that determined by society. Isn't that right? In that determined by your pastor. Hallelujah. The word of God and only the word established our conduct. Isn't that right? My God. It is not a savage, but great men that go to seminary. Lord, hallelujah. Lord Almighty. The attitude that you have. I will speak sometime. Our integrity. What about our dress? And our moral standard. And what am I dealing with that we might have? Is it right in God? I plead in his side. Go to God. Thank you, Jesus. We do not want to act like a fool out there and pretend we write in God. Good God Almighty. He that knoweth to do right and do it not. The word declare that it is sin. All I'm writing there. It is sin. The God Almighty. Check yourself to see where you are. Lord have mercy. Am I one? Talk good about you before your face and before others. Talk negative about you. A double minded man is unstable in all his ways. Isn't that right? Examine yourself every day. Hallelujah. Examine yourself. Am I talking right? Am I thinking right? Am I acting right? Yeah. Or am I pretending? Good God Almighty. Is it real? Are they really real? My God. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Uh, we used to sing a song uh, a few days ago. Uh, real, real. Uh, Jesus is real for me. Uh, yes, he is. Uh, are you real to him? Uh, Lord God Almighty, uh, then are you real to him? Uh, let our attitudes, uh, let our disposition uh, reflect. Uh, we are child of the king. Uh, we don't look that then. Uh, we don't look like the world. Uh, just be a child of the king. Uh, we don't dress like the world. Uh, because we are a child of the king. Uh, we are not trying uh, to be like the world. Uh, because we are a child of the king. Uh, isn't that right? Uh, oh! Uh, he brought us uh, out of darkness. To uh, God Almighty. Uh, and in true uh, the mother of life. Uh, yeah. Uh, we can recall uh, the good word declare. Uh, come out. Uh, come out uh, from among you. Uh, and be separate. Uh, Sing the Lord. Uh, isn't that right? Uh, or you examine yourself. Uh, then you behave uh, and you have a two uh, under all circumstances uh, reflect that you are uh, a child of the king uh, born again uh, uh, born again the uh, world my God uh, and the spirit uh, thank you Jesus uh, don't you know uh, in our walk of faith uh, we must reject uh, all sinful attitude uh, that in our mind uh, casting down imagination uh, and every high thing uh, that is 
exalts itself uh, against the knowledge of God uh, and bring in uh, in the captivity uh, every thought uh, will be to the prize. Because uh, you got the power uh, to reject negativity. Uh, isn't that right? Uh, you got the power uh, to do it right. Uh, if you do it wrong, uh, God said, repent quickly uh, and don't let the sun uh, go down on your wrath. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, good God Almighty. Uh, we must reject uh, out to the pride. Uh, we must reject uh, greed. Uh, we must reject uh, jealousy. Uh, and we must reject pride. Uh, and above all, uh, we must reject hatred uh, or hatred uh, and unforgiveness. Uh, if God uh, will give it up, it isn't incumbent upon us ha, to forgive others ha, who trespass against you. Ha, oh, Lord, ha, who don't know nobody. Peter ha, encouraged the church. Ha, yes, he did. Ha, and that same word, ha, and that God ha, applied to you and me. Ha, he said, ha, Second Peter ha, chapter 1, ha, my God, uh, we're five through eight, uh, a very familiar passage. Uh, the door was that little word. Uh, and besides this, uh, giving all diligence uh, and to your faith, uh, amen, virtue. Uh, and the virtue, uh, the knowledge. Uh, and the knowledge, uh, temporary. Uh, and the temporary, uh, patient. Because uh, in your patience, uh, but let's see your soul. Uh, God Almighty, uh, yeah, uh, and patience, uh, godliness, uh, what a stand at the little eye, uh, and the godliness, uh, brotherly kindness, uh, God Almighty, uh, and the brotherly kindness, uh, charity, uh, in other words, uh, love thy neighbor uh, as thyself, uh, and he said, uh, men shall know uh, that ye are my disciples. If ye have love one for another, isn't that right? You can't fake loving somebody. It's going to be revealed after a while. You can say those words, but if it doesn't come from the heart, it just ain't real. Is God, I mean, is God, is God satisfied with me? The way I talk, the way I walk, is God satisfied with me? Thank you, Jesus. Then he said, and the godliness, brotherly kindness, brotherly kindness, must mean charity. For if these things be in you and abound, they make you that you shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. Examine yourself. That your conduct reflects who you say that you are. My God, how well do you get along with members of the same church? How well do you get along with your neighbor? My God. Thank you, Jesus. You must examine yourself. Do I get angry and upset when it seems to me that I'm being taken for granted or being overlooked? Examine, examine yourself. Hallelujah. To see whether or not you walk in the straight line that God has shown us. Good God Almighty. As a body of believers, we should set and maintain the standard of conduct that is appropriate for who we are. We are, we are ambassadors for Christ. This work here is not our home. We are like aliens in a foreign land. Isn't that right? I heard a preacher say, Is holiness or is hell? There's no in between. You gotta be right with God or 
you know. Not in nine. Not in nine. And I have all you. If you're a recorder, one hundred percent. You may not be there now, but while you breathe, breath, you got an opportunity to get it right. Do that sin or any misbehavior reign in your heart year after year. Hallelujah, Jesus. Examine yourself. Is your conduct reflecting holiness? Reflecting the God that you say you're serving? If it not, get on your knees and repent. Do it quickly. God will. I say, God will. Forgive you your sin. Isn't that right? We must support one another. The help of one to another. Yay. Helping them to hold on to the standard. Isn't that right? You should be helpless one to another. You should not be glad oh Lord, when a brother or sister fall. Oh Lord, reach out your hand that the good Samaritan when the priest and the Levites pass him up. A Samaritan we have no dealing with the Jews. To God is time and give it. It may rise. How much are you doing to help your fellow man? Good God Almighty. Oh Lord. And do our best to encourage one another. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Will you hold on? The God of Jesus. Hold on. To his word. Don't let the sun go down on your ground. But go to God. On bending knees. Go to God with a pure and sincere heart. Amen. Go to God. He will. I said, He will forgive you of your sin. He won't wait till tomorrow. When you confront Him, He waiting. He waiting on you. My God. Thank you, Jesus. Thee in our nature. Amen. To take our troubles to the Lord in prayer. Let's not forget, prayer changes things. I mention always pray and not faint. Pray until your change comes. We may write the depth of our character within the saints of God. It's so astonishing. Hey, we have endured and have not quit. We've been through hardness and have not resigned. We've been through sickness and are still holding on. We pray God. We pray God in every situation. We won't turn around. We won't fade away. We won't be fearful. But our God has not given us the spirit of fear. Amen. But a power in our sound mind. Good God Almighty. We may face great challenges, but our behavior, our attitude, our disposition must reflect who you really are. Get right with God and do it now. My God, we must encourage each other. Don't go back. Hold on. Until you become an overcomer. Hold on. Then God steps in and make a difference in your life. Good God Almighty. When you go through, you'll be interested. Are you going to my God? We must be overcome and endure until we have completely conformed to the conduct that is appropriate to our call. My, 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 my God. There is much to learn from the trials and challenges that transform our lives. Don't you 
I know they will have an effect on your conduct. How you gonna act when you're not given the right amount of change when you're shopping with a mighty attitude to God Almighty? When you pay too much, yeah, and you know it, what we will do to God Almighty? Isn't that right? Oh, Lord. We are holy people. I said we are holy people. Only because the God that we serve abides in us. A holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. Isn't that right? We must follow peace with all men without holiness which no man shall see the Lord. God is standing for us and not change. Isn't that right? It was good enough for my grandparents. It was good enough for my parents. And it's still good enough for me. Isn't that right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Isn't that right, God? He's not changing God. He is the same yesterday. Today and forevermore, my God, ah, yes. Thank you, Jesus. as true believers, we must continue to walk more closer to God, especially in obeying His word. Hallelujah. According and he's chosen us in him before the foundation of the world that we should be holy and without blame before him in love isn't that right yeah we must be pure hearted yes we will live free from sin and sinful affection yeah almighty these are the things that will cripple you, but the word will inspire you not to give up, but to hold on to God's unchanging hand. Because whatsoever you do, do it heartily as to the Lord and not as a man. Isn't that right? Not with eye service as men pleaser, but as a servant of Christ, doing the will of God from the heart. If it ain't from your heart, good God Almighty, it's only a thing. Yay! You might have those that think they're Christian, but if you haven't received the power of God, the Holy Ghost, keep on striving, keep on pressing, keep on tearing until you receive it. Isn't that right? There is no other people. I said there is no other people like the people of God. My God. Peter said, look who you are. Ye are a chosen generation. Isn't that right? Ye are a royal priesthood and a holy nation. A peculiar people that he can show forth praises unto him who is called you out of darkness into the marvelous light. Isn't that right? In Christ, you are somebody. You may be just a window washer, but you're somebody in the Lord. You may be a dishwasher, but let me tell you, you have Jesus. You are somebody. Isn't that right? The people of God, the church, a nation that is set apart. We don't act like the world. We don't dress like the world. You don't see our women with their dresses above them. 
please. Isn't that right? You do not see a woman exposing their breath. Isn't that right? They know how to conduct themselves. They know how to dress. But God Almighty, you can't lie to yourself. If you look like the world, you're missing something in your spiritual walk. If you sound like the world, you're missing something in your spiritual walk. But God did not call us for the uncleanness, but he called us under holiness. Isn't that right? He ready to wrap it up. There's a whole lot, but I gotta come to this up. I'm a stunner of behavior, preclude, foolish talking in the church. This is no place to play games. This is no place to talk about one another. You come, you come to praise your God. You come to magnify your God. Hallelujah. I spoke about the women, but let me go to the men. They now look at the world. They got something they call skinny jeans. They're so tight, good God Almighty. That does not represent you being a man of the kingdom of God. You look like the world and not like a child of God. Thank you, Jesus. Some give excuse, but they don't make them like that no more. Let me assure you, they still make garments that are decent for you to wear. They still reflect, I'm holy, I'm not pretending. I'm holy, I'm not confused. I know what's right, and I'm going to do right. I will conduct the cruise. Uh, amen. Returning to those evil days. Uh, Think about what you used to do. Uh, Lord God Almighty, uh, they should only be used uh, when you're giving your testimony uh, of what the Lord uh, has brought you from. Uh, it includes having hatred uh, in your heart. Uh, get it all out. Uh, search me, Lord. Uh, take it all out. Uh, isn't that right? Uh, oh, Lord. Uh, and the deep put on uh, the new man. Uh, after God uh, is created uh, in righteousness uh, and true holiness. Uh, oh, Lord. Uh, it is not enough to live up to the word. Uh, but God in a few things. Uh, oh, Lord. Uh, or many things. Uh, we must live according to the word uh, in everything. Uh, there should not be an excuse. Uh, oh, Lord. Uh, must not let our behavior uh, be right with God. Uh, he's the anger uh, was sin not. Uh, isn't that right? Uh, examine yourself. Uh, look in the word uh, and see. Uh, let the word speak to you uh, the way you dress. Uh, let the word speak to you uh, your attitude. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, some have attitudes about their leaders. But God said, obey them that rule you. Oh, Lord. They hate that term. That rule over you. Don't you know they're watching out for your soul? You don't know about it. We have many issues. But while we've got breath in our body, we got time to get it right. Isn't that right? And live right according to every word of God. If you haven't got over that hatred for someone that has done you wrong, go down on your knees. You might have to fast a little while. Amen. To get over that. That when you see that person again, you won't snarl at them or turn your head from them. Y'all know how we do sometimes. Those that are still pressing. Amen. To get over the hump. Amen. Of forgiveness. Unforgiveness. They're pressing to love them that hate you. Yeah. They're still trying. Keep on praying for them. Because our conduct must reflect that we've been born again of the water and of the spirit. Amen. In your hands are the will to conduct our altar call. Thank you, Jesus. Well, uh, praise the Lord once again to each and every one that's here. 
that the house of, in the house of God, where we find my peace on Pearl Street, yeah, and yeah. tune it on, on Facebook. The Lord wants us to remind us what he said that well, well, in well, First well. Peter, the third chapter, verse 12. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous. Oh, yeah, if oh, you're yeah. the right, and you're doing what's right, and your husband ain't treating you right, God's oh. eyes is upon you. And he wants you to know his ears are open to your prayer. Uh, Although you suffer sometimes, you're going through things look like you ain't going to see your way out. We got to ask God to help me to be like 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter, verse 15. Be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of God. Lord, help me to do like you said in Ephesians 5, 22. Help me to be submissive to my own husband. Lord, help me to do what's right as a woman of God. For yeah, you. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah, yeah, and if you're the husband of your wife, don't never do you right. Say, Lord, help me to do like you asked me to do in Ephesians 5.25. Lord, help me to love my wife like Christ of the church yes. and gave himself to God. Yes, that he presented himself a church without spot and without rain. So this oh. is what God want to remind us and want us to pray for not the words right now. Lord, help me to do what's right. Yes, because Lord. just like David said in that 37th Psalm, verse 25, Hallelujah. David said, I was once young, yeah. but now I'm old. Yeah. He said, I've never seen yeah. the righteous forsake yeah. me. So why? Because God's eyes is on the, the, the Lord, the eyes of the Lord is upon the righteous. Yeah. His ears are open when you pray. Yes, you're going to have to suffer sometimes. But like he said in 2 uh, well, Timothy 3.12, well, well. All who live godly in Christ Jesus shall some persecution. The Lord wants to know he's just like the eagle. No matter how close you get to the ground, your heavenly father, your heavenly father altar, he can't rescue you before you hit the ground. So Lord, I want to pray this evening that you will create in every man that's in this earth right now. Every woman, every girl, every who will be a clean heart and put the right spirit to God that we're going to walk up right. We're yeah. going to do what's right. Because God told us in 2 Corinthians 1 and 20, all the promises of God Thank are yea and amen. 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 We said in the 84th Psalm, Thank verse 11, oh, yeah. no good thing will I don't know to walk up right. So Father, yeah, yeah. we come before thee this evening in the most under house, oh, asking oh. you to create in us a clean heart, put the right spirit, and help us to walk up right for you at all times. And Father, if we do stumble along the way, yeah. teach us and help us, dear God, how to confess our yeah. sin. God, dear God, for this, and as you confess it, and put us back on the red, right road. Yeah. Father, realize like your word say in Isaiah 53 and 5, we all like sheep go scrape. And it was anyway, but dear God, we want to thank you for your precious thank grace, you. your precious mercy, love. We thank come back you. home, dear God. You just like to talk to thank Father. You, You're there with your arms wide open to oh, receive yeah. us, dear God. So, dear God, mold us and make us. Mm -hmm. You are the potter and we are the clay. That we are be just like you. We all are be meek and lowly, oh, yeah. humble and holy, to dip the world apart. Uh, so we cast it all our cares upon you. And asking you because you, we know you care for us. So help us to come together, not tomorrow, not to right now, in the unity of the faith my of God. Lord, and help us to humble help us to humble ourselves to you. Help us to pray together, yeah, seek yeah, your faith yeah. together, together, until you come again. We pray, Amen. And amen. The now is for our Facebook's audience announcement, mm -hmm. and it's going to be done by the first lady of church. Mother Evans, Jimmy. Let us greet her once again with a hearty amen. Amen. How you do? Thank you, Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. We thank and praise God for the word of God. This amen. afternoon, yes, hallelujah. We thank him for the word praise today. Jesus. Amen. We thank you for joining in with us, our Facebook audience today, amen. I see uh, Missionary Penny Holden, amen, and her team, amen. Uh, Mother Patricia Wright, amen. Uh, Missionary Deborah Smith, my friend, my good friend, amen. Uh, Lady I 
Alice Kane, amen. All of these are my very good friends, amen. My auntie, Ernestine Vance, amen. Bishop Cornell uh, Williams Sr., amen. Sister Gloria Bacchus, amen. Very good friends, Sister Diane Garrett, amen. And Missionary Delores Griffin. We just want to say thank you for joining in with us today. Check yourself. Does your attitude reflect holiness, amen? Yes, we know Lord. that yes, holiness Lord. is the only way, amen, that we're going to be able to make it in. Amen. To hear him say, well done. Yeah. Good and faithful servant. God bless you and turn this back in the hands of our sister pastor. Wonderful Jesus. You. Just want to say thanks again. Thanks once again, Reverend, to the Facebook audience. And we hope by the grace of God that his word will hide our and help ask him anyway. Well, let me say it. Help, us, help him to hide his word in our heart that we won't sin against him. Oh, he's coming soon. He's coming soon. And with joy, we'll welcome his return. Oh, it may be done. Oh, it may be night or noon. But I know he's coming. Amen soon, Christ Jesus, coming soon, and with joy we'll welcome His return. Oh, it may be dark, oh, it may be night or noon, but I know He's coming soon. Mm-hmm.